What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flying Brown's Garage. Today it's going to be a little different. We're building a boom lift, engine lift for the back of the tractor to make things easier on my back. I've got to go mow the next door neighbor's yard and then she has given me a whole bunch of material to build this. So, I'm actually in the office waking up for the day. I'm going to go over here and mow this yard, get the material, and then we're going to get out there in the shop and build us a lift. Alright, a few hours later, just got done with the job next door. Um, I've got to do a couple things here real quick in the shop before I start, but... Um, I gotta move the three wheels. Get the tires aired up, move it out, move it out over to here so I can get the lawnmower backed in. Um Well you know what, I gotta mow tomorrow. I probably won't. I probably won't do that yet. I uh I have to do a mowing job tomorrow, so I probably won't wait to pull the 22 until I finish with that job. I think that would actually be smart. Um, so, scratch that idea. Um, I'll just leave the three-wheeler. I might pull it out anyway, just to give myself some room to work. But, uh, here's our metal that I just got for a whole bunch of projects. I got some angle iron bed frame. Probably going to use that for the roof rack on the Dodge van. Um, I got a whole bunch of uh, galvanized fence posts and a whole bunch of different sizes for exhaust. And I'm going to build uh, the boom, the, uh, the engine hoist out of that with some bolts um, and then we have some square tubing that I found over there as well which is awesome I can do a lot with this um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the three-wheeler out of the shop over to the side get my work area ready get this metal into the shop and get my tools out and then we are going to start building an engine crane for the back of the mud slut to make my life a little easier. All right, I did a lot off camera. Um, here is almost the finished product. I got everything unloaded, you know, all that good stuff. I went ahead and started working on this because I had a lot of bins to make. Um, but so far, so good. I'm not even up needing to cut a little more out of the back plate there so it can go higher. But, I mean, so far so good. I'm going to go take a break and then come back out here and get back at it. All right, here's our progress. We've got our boom here. And it is operational. Going into the side of the frame where it's supposed to, where it's actually supposed to mount up. I didn't drill any holes. All I did was cut out for it to be able to go up and down. Um, I took a really sturdy handle for a, a, a wagon. It already had a hole drilled in it and a bolt already ready for it. <clears throat> so I attached it in here, slid some tubing down over it. I've got this eyelet because I'm going to take this off, mount it up here. So I'll be able to 
crank the system and then I'm gonna attach put make this sturdier and for now I'm gonna make a better system probably a pole slide on with a, a pin in the clip like something on the front like a jousting type pole um, that way I can just slide them on from biggest to smallest drop a pin clip be done with it but for now I got them ratchet strapped to the front to add more weight so I'll be able to lift things until I get some welding wire and then I will weld up a, a pole on the front for them to actually have a place for um, other than that it's coming along pretty well and I'm gonna keep working because I want to get this done by nighttime so I'll be back soon with some more progress don't have much light left because uh, it's getting dark and my lights are dying but here we go this is it so what I would do is pop that and it goes down as needed and then uh, it's a manual and that's it I now have a boom hoist for the back of the tractor it was a very simple build you can use angle iron I'm hoping this tube's gonna hold. It's gonna. We're gonna test it. I'm just gonna use it to move small engines, though. So hopefully it'll do what I need it to do. Cause I can't be lifting this shit with my back anymore. But uh, other than that, that is it. It's pretty basic, and it's, I hope it's gonna work. So we're gonna test it out uh, here soon when I gotta pull the engine off of this and put it back on my tractor. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions about this build, comment down below. I'll try to answer the best I can. Um, I know I didn't get a lot of the building on video this time, but, you know, I was so focused on getting it done, I, I was concentrated. I wasn't worried on filming. I was just going to show you all the finished product. So, um, hope this can help you maybe build something basic for you. And, uh... Yeah, go down to the like video for me if you don't mind, you know, especially if y'all actually enjoyed it, you know. Um, go check out the Facebook page, the, uh, the Instagram, and the Snapchat. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet, because there's a lot of content coming soon. So, with that being said, um, we'll go ahead and get off here. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode.